I am gay, I am disabled, so my work comes from those points of reference. So my work now is mostly focused on the body in general, um, and then how does society react to our bodies. Hi, I'm Wes Holloway. I'm a socially engaged artist, and I focus on painting, drawing, and collage in Houston, Texas. So when I was growing up, my brother was very talented in art, and just as a younger brother, I was inspired and maybe a little bit jealous and a little uh, kind of competitive, so I wanted to be like my brother. I was always doodling and drawing and doing creative things, but I went to undergrad first um, for natural sciences, so it wasn't until my injury that really put things into perspective and I said, art's my passion and I see myself like doing this for the rest of my life. In 2003, after my first year of undergraduate um, work, it was, I think it was the, actually the week of finals, I was at a um, party and with a bunch of my friends and I jumped into a shallow man-made pool that we had made. I did a belly flop. So when the doctors and um, surgeons were telling me my diagnosis was a spinal cord injury and paralysis from the um, chest down, and also I was 17 years old, so it's like, no, I'm still gonna live life and I'm still gonna do this. I'm still gonna go back to school and all these things that Maybe if I was older, I wouldn't think that I could do, but I was pretty determined. So when I was first learning to, um, let's just say, I guess, write um, in rehab, they give you adaptive tools and things to strap on your hands and like different foam things to try to hold your grip better and all these tools to kind of experiment with, which I appreciated, but they always seemed more cumbersome than anything else. So I would just spend time in my like my room or whatever, like holding a pen or pencil like in different ways. And um, I then discovered that when I'm working kind of flat on a surface like that, I can hold the pen or pencil like between my hands like this. When I'm working large and on a wall, I thread the brush through my fingers here and I'm able to hold it and just use my wrist more um, to do mark making as opposed to using my fingers. Just like my occupational therapist in rehab, my instructors in undergrad were also very like We've never taught somebody in a wheelchair before, so we don't know what to expect. So whatever you wanna try, we'll try. Um, that was a really like good incubation period for me to try a lot of things. Everything from digital art to different mediums of drawing, pencil, charcoal, uh, pen and ink, and then painting, acrylic, oil, watercolor, all the things you go through just trying. And there was something about painting that just, that process became just really natural to me. And when I was a senior in undergrad, that's when I kind of applied to my first big art show. And I was lucky enough to be accepted into a art show that was run by VSA Arts through the Kennedy Center and they have a show every year for young artists with disabilities and they show all their work at the Smithsonian and fly the, I think there's maybe 12 of us, um, up to DC and 
you get to meet the other artist and see what everyone else is doing. And that was like really eye-opening to me. Like, it's not just me in this little bubble, but there's also all these other people with all these different talents. And there's also the support behind it to encourage people to create. So that was like coming out of undergraduate school, like, okay, this is finding my tribe, I guess you could call it.